all right so i hope you are doing well and i want to talk to you about some very interesting remedies some lesser known remedies for um, women during their pregnancy issues and one of the commonest things you can think of in today's times and that is the nausea and vomiting and this kind of sick feeling in the abdomen during pregnancy so common and nausea any time actually so i'm going to talk to you about some remedies and the top of the remedies and i'm going to tell you a little lesser known remedies i'm not going to tell you how important epicac is pulsatilize but a little lesser known remedy that can help you to really help the mothers yeah let's see so the first remedy for today i'm going to talk to you about is the remedy symphoricorpus resmosa very beautiful remedy symphoricorpus resmosa also known as common snowberry just one symptom i want you to remember in symphoricorpus resmosa they'll feel a lot of nausea and vomiting but as soon as they lie still and not move they are okay so this is the main symptom let's read it once have a look nausea worse by motion averse to all food better by lying on the back so till they are lying on the back you don't make them move just like that they're okay as soon as they move that is symphoricus resmosa and also it's not only important for vomiting during pregnancy but you can also use this remedy for any kind of nausea and vomiting yeah gastric disturbances constipation even nausea during menstruation this, this remedy could be so useful so useful symphoric corpus resmosa the best author to read about this read from clark yeah very very beautiful he has written qualmishness and indifference to food deathly nausea see the word deathly nausea one patient was better by lying on the back symphoric corpus resmus interesting another lesser known remedy i want to talk to you about for 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 morning sickness for nausea um these kind of issues the remedy cerium oxalicum let's have a look cerium oxalicum right you can see oxalate of cerium again very important for reflex vomiting cough but especially vomiting of pregnancy and especially vomiting of half digested food <coughs> it's not digested properly hmm. and along with that remember in past history they have had very very bad dysmenorrhea and pains this is very important for cerium oxalicum it's a it's a remedy you will not see very often being used but in the worst kind of um, vomiting during pregnancy think about it the interesting rubric <coughs> vomiting undigested food vomiting eating after long think about cerium oxalic another very interesting rubric of cerium oxalicum i want to show you so they feel like vomiting after several hours so if they have eaten in the morning they will not feel vomiting immediately okay after one hour they will get the vomiting feeling at night at 12 o'clock so that's very important cerium oxalic <clears throat> another beautiful remedy this remedy i learned from my teacher dr shorkar the remedy this beautiful remedy amygdalus persica from the rose family amygdalus persica <clears throat> Yeah. peach tree huh? very very beautiful remedy let's read from boric what's the main indication yes all kinds of vomiting it's it's good for all kinds of vomiting although it's a very 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 well known remedy for motion sickness and for morning sickness but typically they have a very peculiar peculiar tongue tongue is very elongated pointed tip and edges are very red so very tongue is very elongated and 
tip is very very like you know red reddish this is how you it almost looks like a rustock tongue in that way and that's how you differentiate with ipicap ipicap will have very clean tongue in that way a mike dallas persica so just opposite to um the remedy that we did last cerium oxalicum which has vomiting much later a mike dallas persica will get immediate vomiting like a little bit like ferum a little bit like phosphorus and and shoots one of the very famous author gives it as a very important remedy for vomiting in pregnancy and they get a lot of pain in the stomach also during that time a mike dallas persica remember range and a mike dallas persica <laughs> and one more remedy we'll try to do lac vaccinatum coagulatum what is that first let's try to see it's basically milk curd okay and what is the indication for this that i want to tell you about nausea of pregnancy and no other symptom at all this along with other lac symptoms what are the other lac symptoms along with nausea the lac vaccinatum coagulatum which is actually a remedy prepared from curd they get a lot of very big appetite along with uh, the nausea and they cannot tolerate milk remember almost every mammal remedy has an issue with milk and the peculiar thing was in lac vaccinatum coagulatum is the nausea normally milk can cause an aversion but in this remedy interestingly the nausea is better by drinking milk very interesting remedy and it has a very big appetite lac vaccinatum coagulatum it's a lesser known remedy but a remarkable remedy finally because you asked me the two top remedies i want to tell you in worst cases of morning sickness number one remedy i want to tell you is thyroidinum reap thyroidinum beautiful remedy in worst cases of um, morning sickness and another remedy which i want to tell you which never fails me typically is the other lac remedy that is lac defloratum lac defloratum huge 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 remedy for nausea vomiting during pregnancy the peculiarity they will always be constipated they will always get a typical headache and as soon as they step their foot on the ground they will feel nausea so this is a little bit about a little lesser known remedy that i try to give you a little picture about especially my colleague dr shivani had asked me to talk about this so this is in honor of her request that i try to talk to you about these remedies nausea and vomiting during pregnancy and remedies for morning sickness a little lesser known i hope it was useful there are many many remedies this is just an attempt so that you guys can use this as an appetizer and study more all these remedies from different literature and there are so many more remedies ethusa epicac pulsatilla cpr acerum europium so many have a good day i hope i hope you guys take a chance and plan to study with us we are trying to uh, formulate a small group materia medica club advanced courses where we are trying to study with many many homeopaths across the globe together if you wish that you want me to mentor you or study with you write an email to us and we would love to do that for you thank you